What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Tony D2 Wild checking in once again back with the bigger today, guys, on this week's edition of Sneaker News. We in the building. So, guys, we got a little bit of stuff going on. We have the big Black Friday week in full effect. Now, I gotta throw the shameless plug in. It's only right. So forgive me, but it ain't it got I got I got about two shameless plugs. Not even they're not even shameless plugs. Really, they're not. Because in reality, guys, y'all want to know about this and y'all need to know about this. So I'm going to show y'all about this. Let's bring it on over to the screen real quick, right? And first things first, Sample Industries, currently, guys, Sample Industries has a 50% off site-wide sale. Use the code SMPL50. And you can get 50% off all of these items on our site. So hop on that ASAP Rocky. Even the stuff that is already on sale, $75 right now, take an additional 50 and enjoy it. If you ever wanted one of these items, you better hop on ASAP Rocky. You got the slouch socks, you got everything. Everything is 50% off site wide. So head on over and hop on that ASAP Rocky. The next site that I wanna promote is Soul Play. Soulplay has 40% off site-wide with certain exclusions. And those exclusions mainly are like these releases that just released. I wanna say everything up to this. These right here, these Reimagined re Royals. Everything else like these and all that, you can get 40% off this whole entire site. Um, the cherries, of course, not as well. I don't know why they're down there, but everything else, 40% off. I mean, things are selling out. Hop on it ASAP because you are probably not going to find a better deal. Like, things are moving. Hats right now are $25 for the hats. So the hats were $55 retail, $25 on their site already as is. But now you can take an additional $40 off the $25, which each hat's going to run you $15. Bucks. So $15 New Era straight up hats. And I mean, they got a plethora of hats. I mean, 76 hats right now. So... That's why that's where I've been getting my hats at for a minute now and uh, you should hop on it ASAP Rocky and last but not least from this They have a 70% off warehouse funds. So if you go up here and click the website, you can get Subi um, Back to school paper planes Hom and Fem, lifted anchors uh, I think they got um, Honor the gift in here. All this is 70% off so you got a valid basket for 250. Oh, that's sold out already. Sold out already. Market. Oh, you see it though. 75% off on all these items. So, but look, $95 hoodie, get it for 28 bucks. Okay, so this is where the, the meat and potatoes is at right now. All this diet starts Monday and all this stuff, bro. You can have a, a ball on the website. So go and check that out. And forgive me, I'm all in it, but there's a lot of stuff that is worth checking out over there on uh, Soul Play and on Sample. So to start things off, we're gonna get into the sneaker side, then we'll go to the Jordan side as well. But as you guys can see, there's tons of Nike Dunks coming down the pipeline. Now, these are, this one dropped already, this one drops tomorrow. Now, I feel like these already dropped already. Now, these like these all pink joints. I've seen these though before in stores. Yeah, this is an, okay. Another holiday fitting. Now these were like, I feel like these came out already. It's following the delays, I mean, these are, and is it is this a women's? I would say it's a women's, right? Let me see, Nike store says coming soon. I don't wanna see though. Okay, these are big kids, okay, yeah, because I almost got up here for these for Nicole, but I guess they didn't come out. I guess these are finally, I've seen these in stores, bro. Maybe they launched and then now they're finally launching in stores, but I've seen these for Nicole, and these are for big kids, so. You know, for the girls out there, the boy, look, they even got the right kid wearing them. Like they, I mean, they're dunks, but it's a whole different look. But something nice. Barbie, they, they, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, are these the Barbies? That's what I'm saying. Yeah, these are the Barbies, right? Are these, or no, did the, they did have a Barbie, but it was like a different type. Hold on. Y'all remember this, right? Because this is, I remember this too, but it wasn't like that. It had the thing, this. These aren't the Barbies. That's what I'm saying. These aren't the Barbies. These are the Barbies. I guess those are called the Barbies too, but not really. Maybe this is this sneaker, sneaker news is uh, you know, version of it. Nike Dunk from Nike to you. So I'm wondering, is this another one of those spin-offs from a different country? Peter Moore's iconic basketball shoe merge. Okay, Nike from Nike to you banner, similar color. Air Force One previously emerged. Um, so this is another Nike Dunk. The Dunks are, they flooded the Dunks now at this point. 
medium olive. We have another medium olive, which is funny because we do have the medium olive four that just dropped, which I thought was gonna sell out. They didn't, hey, but I ain't mad, I ain't mad. End in Adidas, a Samba with the past. I like this, I like this. Some more Sambas getting love. Samba's been popping off, the white and black ones, if anything, but these are releasing also on the 21st, no retail price point, but it's a, it's a pass for me as well. I'm not like jumping on this, but it is worth at least, you know, paying some respect to. But for what's actually releasing this week, there isn't really much going on, I'm gonna be honest. But the Crocs are coming back again for Coca-Cola. You got Coca-Cola, you got Sprite, and I don't know what this Coca-Cola, it's another Coca-Cola version, I guess, the white and black. I showed y'all in the last one, I wanna say, if, I'm, if I remembered, I did show y'all the McDonald's version, right? I did pick up the hamburglers. I picked them up. They, I'm happy, they, they sat. Cause I woke up late and I was like, bro, did I just miss out on these joints? And I didn't. They were sitting on all sites and I went and got me my hamburglers and I got Nicole the Grimaces. So I'm happy about that. I don't buy just because of the hype. But these are Coca-Cola. These might do a little bit better. We'll have to wait and see. Sakai, Gene Pauls, some cool stuff right there. But yeah, not, Nike New Balance 9060s. 9060s have been, for the most part, starting to like slowly slow down too. So you can get your hands on, I think Soulplay had a pair of the Eclipse version of this shoe on sale. But also, wait, before we even go, I see this is going for 60 and these are going for 70. I wonder what's the case here. What the hell's going on here? I don't know. We have the Air Max One, and this is a white and blue one. Uh, it's gonna be something on sale once again. And to be all on, in all honesty, it's gonna be on sale. Now, I wanna say one of the big things that I see popping up now, and I'm, now I know it's here, is that the Noctas are actually gonna be restocking. And now that it reminds me, and it's probably too late now, I'm gonna be 100% honest with you guys. I was gonna sell my Noctas. I still got my Noctas dead stock, but I feel like the prices probably have dropped at this point because people know what the move is. You can tell it for 150, retails 160, so there's really no money to be made. So I probably would try to pick up some extra pairs, maybe uh, give a couple of pairs away on my whatnot or something like that. But for the most part, I mean, these will sell out they did at least last time. I see these selling out for the most part in certain stores doing fairly well on these, but they are re-retroing them. Or they could have dropped these and now this is the big, big flood that will have these shoes just sitting on sites for a long time to come. So it could be one or the other, it could be one or the other. So wait, we do got some shoes added in right now. Some New Balance 1906 Ds. I've been wanting to get a pair of these for a minute. These kind of look like the, the, 20, the 2002 What's it called? Those 2002, like, uh, it was a packs that came out from New Balance. I forgot the name of them, bro. It wasn't called the Restore Pack. Protection Packs. That's what it was, the Protection Pack vibes on it. And we got another 9060 that's dropping. So New Balance got a couple things popping up on the 22nd to keep your eyes and ears peeled on. That's two days from now. So keep your eyes and ears peeled on that, the 24th, that. And then we got a Reebok Blast dropping on the 24th. This is of a OG from, um, the Blast was a, uh, I'm trying to think who wore this, Nick Van Axel? I feel like the Blast was another person's like PE though. Maybe it wasn't, but I guess they're saying Nick Van Axel wore it a lot. Salute to Nick Van Axel. Pulled directly from the silhouette 1996. So yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's Reebok Blast 150. They've dropped a couple of colorways of these in the past, but you know, salutes to Reebok for doing a thug dizzle. We got some Pumas, some new, uh, oof all gold and these are going into the on friday golden child i gotta keep my eyes and ears put on this because last time i checked these were doing fairly well like just overall all of lamello shoes were doing fairly well for the most part i got a pair i got a purple pair i might actually be getting rid of it because i don't wear them as much but i do like them overall on the 25th though and i heard about this one as well we are getting the additional arrival of the penny two now i do have the original penny two or not the original, but the one that re retro last time, which was in 2015. And I might actually get rid of that pair now just to grab this. Pair. Oh my God. Retails $200? Never mind. These will definitely probably sit. I want to say the last time these released, they retro for $160. So I'm going to see when these actually come out, I'm going to check and see the differences of the two. And if they fit way better or they look extremely better, I'll keep i'll get the the new pair but if they're not bro i'm not wasting i'm not wasting my money at the same time bro 200 for these are way too goddamn expensive bro 
This is way too expensive. Way too expensive. I think they retro last time for one for 160, bro. That is this cannot be true, bro. This cannot be true, bro. $200 for these? Yeah, they're tripping. They put it in a better perspective. So, like look at the social these are the social status ones that drop. These are going for 120. These also retro for $200. So there's no way that these do do anything close or near. I don't know what the hell Jordan Brand was thinking. Maybe the fact that they did that, they feel the need they have to do it again. I, I don't know. Here's the pair that dropped in 2015, which, I mean, technically speaking, it was eight years ago, but they read, look, 150. This is the pair that I got. I'm looking forward to seeing what they did there. And let me see, this is the 09, 145. So from six years, the six year difference, 09 to 015, they did five dollars more but they went fifty dollars they are tripping this right here nike y'all are tripping y'all gonna take an l on this holy shit sorry for cursing i'm gonna make a tweet about this after i get done shooting this video i like these but 200 dollars is insane we have another a crazy uh crazy eight 30 point game i wonder if they're commemorating kobe Bringing back Kobe Bryant's shoes from his first 30. That's crazy that they like, they bring them back. And I don't know if they're calling them specifically the 38, 30 point game, but it's crazy how Adidas, you know, who dropped Kobe during that, uh, the alleged case, they dropped him, got rid of him, and they still selling the shoes. We, like, bro, they're not calling them Kobe's, but we know what they, people know what they are. It's just crazy that, like, that's something you got to peep and, and, and peep who's doing it, Adidas. Adidas is selling this shoe still to this day with the fact that like they don't want to call it the Kobe because they can't but they call it the crazy eight but don't forget Adidas y'all dropped them and y'all still making money off of his name in a way they did the muse pack they've done so many shoes on the crazy eight that are symbolic to Kobe but not like it's like they're praising them but they're not it almost now made me feel like them like should I boycott this shoe in a way because you're, 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 you're praising his 30 point game. You're doing all these things, but you did get rid of him. And I wonder now, like down the road, will we see the same thing happen, you know, with, with, with Yeezy? Not to say Yeezy did, with Yeezy did and Kobe did two different things. But I just thought about that right now. Let me know you guys' thoughts on that down below. It's kind of crazy. I'm just thinking about that. Um, Dime, Reebok, Clubs, uh, nothing really there, okay? Nothing, nothing there to, to think about. Now we're on the Jordan release side of things. We have the Jordan 13 week. These actually drop tomorrow. Um, I did drop my review. My review is live. These are nice. These are definitely sleeper shoes in my opinion. So keep your eyes and ears peeled. Um, I don't know how well these would do online, but it doesn't really matter. It's definitely a shoe that I want to add to the arsenal. So that is what I'm going to do. Um, it's nothing more, nothing less that needs to be said. Iconic shoe in my opinion. Last time released in 2004, it's coming back. Been on, it's been almost 20 years. It's a lifestyle shoe. You know, it was a shoe that released right before Jordan had, uh, right after he retired, and it seemed like a lot of stores are getting them. So that's dope. That's dope. Then we got these Jordan Two Lows, which I don't know nothing about. I didn't even know these released. What is this? I need to I need to ask and see if these are coming out October 10th. I don't know. These are death shoes. If they drop, they're not gonna move. Like, and I mean like this. There's no. I don't like them. That's just what I got to say. I don't like them. Next up, Fear Pack. We just dropped a review on this. Another iconic shoe. My Fear Pack 3s. This is a shoe that I'm keeping as well. So we are keeping these and the 13s are going to be in the arsenal. So definitely two shoes that I really, really, really did like at the end of the day. And iconic in its own way. You know, 10-year-old shoe coming back to life. Shoe that kind of started off popping when I started my YouTube channel. And now I own it. And it was a hard shoe to get back then. I'm all for it. I like it. I like it a lot. Review on that is live on the main channel if you want to check it out. So go and check it out. We have also the Ama Manier Dawn pair releasing on the 27th. I think that uh, Ama Manier had already dropped their pairs. That review is up on the channel as well. And 225, I believe now, like we have the worldwide or, you know, store release overall releasing on the 27th. And is it even releasing on Nike too? Yep, on the 27th, 225. So go check out the review on that. That is live as well. I talk very nice about that shoe. I like it. And that's about it for this week. I don't know what this six ring champion. I ain't talking about no mids right now, I'm gonna be honest. Also coming down the pipeline, these uh, brown kelps. Let me see. So I need, I reviewed one, two. I'm not reviewing those. 
I got these. I need to review these. You'll actually probably see this video today on this channel where like my got them early of this shoe. So I'm gonna be dropping this probably like when, I gotta get that out probably by Wednesday. Yeah, these drop next week. Okay, yeah, so I'm gonna be on that ASAP this week. So that'd probably be my next thing. I don't know about the winter rides. I have not got my hands on those yet, but that is another shoe to talk about as well. We did have the release today of the RTF KT Nike Dunk, which was like, you know, Riftka. I don't know how to pronounce it, RTF KT. I know that's like one, like that was a um, Web3 or like a, what's the word? Um, NFT type of company that Nike bought into. They're available at ComplexCon as well as a public release will take place on November 20th at 11 a.m. I think they dropped, like I said, this morning. And also, wait, the first pre-sale window is now closed. So there was a pre-sale on these? I'm going to be honest. I didn't really keep up to date on this shoe. It's not a bad shoe. It's not something that I'm, like, really pressed about. I kind of like the other thing they're doing. But I get it. You know, they're, they're, they're moving ahead on the whole... This is another part of the Web3 thing that Nike's trying to do. So... It's something different. We'll have to wait and see. I mean, the design's not bad, don't get me wrong. I just haven't really been following it. I knew about it, but I haven't been following it because I've seen them already have pairs at different events already. So, I, but I just wasn't really tripping about it. $220 in Ethereum, $220. So, so you have to buy, do you have to buy them through Rivka? I'm gonna be honest, guys. I just didn't care about this shoe that much, but it's out there for somebody. Salutes, salutes. We also got a Jordan 1 Low Mocha set to release in August of 2024. We'll see if that has enough hype to bring back the low top. But in my opinion, I don't think uh, the, the ones are just kind of like dried up right now, bro. They still sell them, but they're a little dried up. So, yeah. Jordan Legacy 312 joins the iconic Fear Pack. Wow, I did not know nothing about this. When is this release? I ain't no one. Well, pass for me at the end of the day. Nike Air, uh, Nike Air Flight 89. Oh, this is in a Jordan 4, close rel relatives. So there's a there's one of these dropping, which I believe this is what this is where the four got a lot of his if, like a lot of his stuff from. This came before the four, but they did come around the same time, right? I'll let the OGs in the comment section tell me, but I want to say that the the Jordan Jordan four got its midsole from this shoe. I want to say that's the case, or it's the other way around, of course. But I believe this was the one that came first. But uh, yeah, these are coming out. I'm straight on those though. And then we got, of course, the Nike SB Powder Puff Girl joins first forces on the Nike Dunk SB Low collaboration this holiday season. And uh, we've been seeing these float around. These are cool for the most part, but I ain't fighting crime. Sign. Fighting crime, trying to save the world. They come just in time. The Powder Puff Girls. Powder Puff! Du -du 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 -du. You know what I'm saying? I didn't used to watch it like that, but I know it. You feel me? Cool, though. I like it. It's cool. A Mojo Jojo, that was his name, right? They need a Mojo Jojo shoe to add along with it, man. Come on, now y'all, y'all slacking. This the shoe we want, but uh, yeah, they got a date was the December 13th, the 14th, 14th, 15th, 135. I'm still taking L's in the department of the Nike SB at the end of the day. Like I, I don't hit on shit, so I'm don't I don't expect nothing at the end of the day when it comes to that. We got New Balance releasing some vintage reds, so they're going that vintage route as well. They're trying to take that 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 Ali May that Ali May and continue running with it. I would like to check these out though. I like to see what's going on with it. And last but not least, we have rumor of the Powder Blue returning in March 2024. There's a lot of OG shoes making their way back in 2024. So this is one definitely I want to add to the pipeline. Um, I haven't had it. I didn't have it this last time, 2010, originally released in '94. Uh, I don't have that many nines in my collection. I got rid of my Space Jams. Salutes to Gucci Lou, even though I think I regret it now, but it's all good. Um, but this one definitely is going to be added to the arsenal and uh, something definitely on my pipeline of the OGs releasing coming into next year. So, yeah. So, yeah, guys, I hope you guys and girls enjoyed today's video. Make sure you leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel if you're new. I love y'all and I appreciate y'all. And I'm going to see y'all on the next one. I'm out. Peace.